in this one we're going to be sketching and translating lines in a complex plane. So jumping straight into an example here because this is super, super quick. If we want to sketch these lines, z, real z equals negative 3, very, very straightforward. All this says is that the re doesn't matter where we are on our argand diagram here, the real value is always negative 3. So here's our real plane here. Negative 3 is somewhere over here. And our line is a vertical line passing through negative 3 on the real axis. That's the best line I can do today. Is that better? You get the basic idea. A vertical line should be straight up and down passing through the real negative 3. Just be very, very wary of your notation here. Z, real Z equals negative 3. And finally, this one, Z, uh, semicolon, imaginary Z equals 2. I think you can guess what this is going to end up being. It's in the imaginary part of our uh, argon diagram. Here's 2, and I can draw a line in horizontal line and again that's about the best I'm going to do today horizontal line all right so that's how you sketch these lines why don't we start translating these lines again it's going to be pretty straightforward all right so we're going to sketch this line here z real bracket z minus 2 plus 3i equals 1 so if you ignore this part for a moment that's just real z equals 1. So real z equals 1 would be a line passing through the real axis at um, real equals 1. So it would be a line that looks like this. But there are some translations happening here. First of all, there's a real translation. Translate. And again, translate in the opposite direction to which you'd expect. So this is going to translate by positive 2. So it's going to move it that way. So it doesn't pass through 1 anymore. It actually passes through 3. Now, this 3i one is a bit, a bit sneaky. Now, 3i is going to translate it down, straight down, in the imaginary plane by negative 3. It's going to move it down by, by 3, or it's going to move it negative 3. But it's a vertical line. So if I move a vertical line down by 3, well, it's still going to look exactly the same as it did before because these lines are infinite. They go on forever. So we can just kind of look at this bit. And in this particular question, nothing happens. Now, you probably shouldn't write nothing happens. You probably shouldn't write that. You probably should write translates negative 3. But just for the purposes of this, make sure that you understand that translates negative 3 down doesn't actually do anything. All right. Finally, I can just draw my straight line or attempt to anyway. Not too bad. Okay. Now, this one's uh, a bit of a no-brainer. Z, imaginary Z minus 5i equals negative 3. All right, so it's imaginary, so it's going to be a horizontal line. Uh, passing through negative 3, at least I think at the moment, that's what would normally happen. But there's a translation here of negative 5i. Now that translation of negative 5i is going to translate by 5, so positive 5. So we're going to go from negative 3 all the way up to positive 2, and we'll be able to draw our line through there. So let's draw a line. Terrible. Getting better. That'll do. Okay, so sketching lines, very, very easy. Horizontal and vertical lines, no diagonal ones for now. And if we want to translate them, we can move them uh, left and right, up or down. But that's only going to have meaning half of the time. Done.